Hey everybody, I'm bringing you my very first My Player game. Obviously, my uh, Dazzle did not want to record sound today. So, we're playing a team that we beat in the first round of the playoffs last season. The Denver Nuggets. Uh, playing on the road, a very hard place to come in and win games in. So, I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, playing, uh, hopefully, and if I can... Uh, Average probably about 20 points a game, couple assists, couple rebounds. I'll be able to overtake Roger Bell in a hurry, hopefully. I think I did better than him in this game, but I don't really get my first points in my NBA career. They're in, they're from free throws, okay? <laughs> I mean, like that's why I don't get that little speech thing where he goes like, "Oh, Richard's getting scored. He's the first bucket in the NBA or whatever." I, I don't, I don't, I didn't get that speech, but who cares? Um. I still got the fulfillment of a lifelong dream. It was a nice one to get. And a difficult layup to hit there. I don't know. I still don't know how I got that with 70 layup in like 90 mid range, though. And I'm trying to spin off of J.R. Smith. It doesn't really work, so I'm just going to kick it to um, Andre Karolinko. He's going to give it back to me. I'm going to pump fake, and I'm going to just get an easy mid range jump shot. That is too easy. Those are my, fi my first six points of the night and my first six points of my career. Uh, so here's a nice little rebound, my first rebound in my career. Um, and a nice step back, and then giving it to D. Well for my first assist of the year, and my first assist of my career. So that's nice. And then a beautiful crossover leads to a LeBron dunk on Chris Anderson, throwing that thing down, two hand stuff, vicious. And I had to fall into the crowd afterward, <laughs> as if it was planned or something, but... Uh, crossover, again, an ankle breaker on Kmart, and that is just too easy, man. I get a wide-open jump shot. And here I get a no-rebound, but it would lead to a turnover on Roger Bell, though. Uh, and then a beautiful crossover, and a one-handed layup. I knew I was talking about something else, and, uh... I just flipped into the next clip, so that's the problem about having short clips, but another dunk, man, this is too easy, I can just drive into the lane, sadly I didn't play too many minutes, and I went cold for a little bit, but I was able to come back, shoot 60% uh, from the field, or over 60% actually, and this is just beautiful right here, so, so Don, uh, Gaines gets the steal, and then he kicks it to Williams, who leads the fast break to me, and I get a two-handed stuff. It may not feel like it's too cool when you guys are watching at home, but it's it's inspiring for if you're playing. And I miss uh, a Kobe Bryant fadeaway contested shot, but um, Matt gets the rebound. I get the rebound off of his miss, and then I actually fade, and I get it right from the net. We are somehow kind of coming back, but they just go on an excellent run, and I realize that my dribble moves have to save us in this game. That's exactly what it does, getting uh, Karolinko an easy... Uh, inside shot, and then um, a beautiful crossover here on Melo, and a beautiful drifter. That deserves a beautiful slow motion replay. Just look at that crossover. He just didn't expect it. He got, his ankles got just destroyed. I think he's going to be out for like a week with the twisted ankle, but um, that was just deadly. I mean, obviously he didn't fall to the floor. That would have been awesome, but since I was what uh, since I I didn't wasn't planning to do this in slow mo I wanted to watch it again. Uh, look at that! Just look at that crossover! Just look at Carmelo! He's like, whoa! Wait, he just crossed me! And now, and now he the only person who can defend right now is Jefferson. He can't defend anyone else, and he he's even just doing a squat right there. And then I have a wide open drifter, and that's just that's just money all day. I mean, I can't I can't miss if you give me wide open shots. And then I get a beautiful drifter, but that was my last points of the night since they subbed me out. I didn't get to play any more minutes, but I thought I had a good 22-point performance for my first game in the NBA. Coming in as a 48 or 47 overall rated player, pick ninth. I don't know why Gordon Hayward is on the roster if I got pick ninth, but who cares? Um, so yeah, that's just about it. 
I got all my objectives, got a lot of milestones, six milestones. I If I would have won the game, I would have got like 3,000 skill points, but I had a dominating game. I thought this was a great game to, to come in and play. And, yeah, I used most of my skill points on my vertical. Uh, I'm going to be improving my dunk as I go up. As I go higher in the NBA, I'm probably going to get that up to like a Kobe or a Jason Richardson or maybe even a Scottie Pippen. You never know, you know. I might surprise you with something a little interesting in the future. But uh, my press conference, uh, pause the video if you want to listen to the question and pause the video if you want to see my uh, answer. So, yeah, I answered with professionalism. Uh, and... Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. And then, yep, so uh, the 2K Insider is going to give me a couple words right here, but that's just a couple words of my own. Hopefully this video will go on the SG Central, I don't know, I haven't been able to log in for the past couple days, but I probably will be able to get, get this up on there someday. So, thank you everyone, enjoy your day, your morning, whatever time of day you're watching this, and uh yeah, so see you later. Peace out.